all right this is a I don't know if you call it a video response I see a lot of people um, doing how-to videos on torquing the barrel nut on an AR-15 upper receiver and they're doing it wrong I'm no expert on guns but I am very knowledgeable on torquing I worked as um, building turbine engines for several years I still work on aircraft and I use torque wrenches every day when you attach an adapter to a torque wrench it's not anything but a socket you change the torque value and there is a complicated formula to calculate the actual torque driven by your adapter now that formula takes into consideration the angle of the adapter the length of the adapter and so on. When you look at that chart, when the adapter is 90 degrees from the torque wrench, the value is equal to if you had a socket on it. So, if you don't want to get a calculator out and figure out a formula, you place the torque wrench 90 degrees from your torque adapter, and you'll get a true torque. Whatever the torque says on this, is what you're putting on this as long as you hold it at 90 degrees now you notice the distance is quite a bit further from from the castle nut adapter to the barrel nut adapter as long as it's 90 degrees it offsets that formula and I don't know how this information is lost to the people building AR AR-15s on YouTube but I have not seen anybody get it right yet so hopefully a lot of people watch this video it will uh, help them to get the actual torque on their parts that they think they're getting and anyway that's it for me as you can see I'm not working on AR-15s anyway but uh, I was watching a video on another guy's channel who was um, complaining about how far this was away and yada yada and I just wanted to explain that if it's 90 degrees when you torque it it doesn't matter how far it is that takes the lever out of the anyway you can look up the formula if you don't believe me but it's true I swear mm -hmm.